that point in the track. No, we, we knew the boards were out, but um, Garth and all the guys in front were pressing on. If you slow down, you just lose pit position, um, and all the cars are falling out. Of this is the moment the Paul Dumbrell and the super cheap auto team are still trying to work out why. Ouch. Big impact. Need of grip. But the this wet is, weather meant uh, it was in short play. supply. Going off. Exactly well. Oh, gee, that's big, big. That'll give that thing a fair old wheel alignment. Fortunately, it's gone right up into the sand trap and well off the road. thousand dollars worth of work, but let's just recap this uh, crash for you. It was 190 k's an hour, and it was quite scary. They're very, very safe, though, these cars, and this is testament to that. It's an unfortunate racing incident, one of those things that comes along from time to time between turns six and seven, but it tipped Paul up on his roof. The team had to wait until the car was transported, of course, from New Zealand back to the Gold Coast, and then it was two and a half weeks of solid work round the clock. They replaced, in summary, the entire left side of the car. You can see that Paul's a bit emotional here, as you'd fully expect. Very unhappy with what unfolded. race has been red flagged. Take a look at this impact. Yeah, we just see the aftermath where John hits the wall very heavily on the outside. I heard the car go by our commentary point and uh, I saw all the spectators jump to their feet. It sounded strange as it went by, whether or not the track conditions were greasy at that moment and he couldn't pull the car up, whether it had a jam throttle or some other issue as a result of the incident that he was in Murphy and there was a collective sigh from the grandstand. On the extreme left was Jason Richards who squeezed Paul Dumbrell a little and they just glanced then off Greg Murphy. Here's another ang angle from Stevie Johnson's car. See Rick Kelly's car station on the grid that's what triggered some of the chaos and split the pack and that was the reason why Greg makes that violent impact there on the right hand side took the front off the car it's the gong no one wants to receive but the super hit of 2000 pilot international sports car driver and to his left it was our driving standards observer Jason Bark oh, and look at that, my goodness. So I think that was Mostert. Yeah. Mostert having a battle there with Wall. And when it gets that willing through those last three corners and you make that level of car upside down here. There's a car roll on the way into pit entry. Can't figure out who it is. It's a it's BOC, BOC car. car. It could be Jones, obviously, or Bow. Upside down, pinned against the tyre barrier. Zinger replay might tell more of the story. Now, Brad's already... Now, he was in a battle with one of the Valvoline cars. I uh, don't know which one it was. Could have been Cam McConville. Might have been his nephew, Andrew Jones. He ends up in the dirt, out wide, and up against that tyre barrier. Fortunately, the tyres have done some job to arrest the, the speed of it. Pertec forward. Raindrops starting to get heavy now. Oh, look at that. A big, big moment for Ellery. Almost spills it wide with oversteer. Gets into the dirt. Oh, and so too Wind Cup. They're all getting trapped by the lack of grip. Oh, Trouble. Dumbrell. Big shunt. Big shunt. Dumbrell and Baird. This Craig is going to be Baird. bad. This is huge. Lost the back off the Craig Baird car. This will be a safety car. If the red flag, red flag. The race will be stopped. Terrible situation. Boy, oh boy, they are going...